reef moose here. That is a picture of trying to get off my iPad and it's not focused it in really good. That is Junior's Holler Daytona Bound. And yes, I'm gutsy and have my iPad up by my fish tank and wow. other fish tank and whatnot. But this is reef moose, just letting you know that we are officially Daytona Bound and that means it's time to start the engine and get it on. We are not. <laughs> so, the wife just informed me we are not, but who knows, maybe I'll go win a landfall of money here in the next couple of days and I'll be able to take her. She's always, I think, I think that would just pretty much get me divorced though because she'd just stay there. So, anywho, the tank is clearing up. It's got a little bit. Just thought I'd do the Daytona Bound thing. Um, haven't really showed anything about the fresh water too much, but it's got some new critters in it, some new plants. Uh, put in some lilies, and I don't remember what the name of that variegated leaf there is. Uh, don't remember. And then I put in some bulbs. Uh, but the damn little clown's like digging them out. Put in some, some clown loaches. Got three of those. I uh, got a couple Sharpay, made them uh, a pair of five, and uh, that's funny, a pair, a pair is two, I don't know why I said that, I'm an idiot. So all I got left to do is neons, and if I can find neons as big as what I've got somewhere, I'll probably buy six to make it ten, because I'd really like to have ten of those schooling around in the tank. The blacks and the Sharpays do a pretty good job, they all sometimes will school. Uh, the goldfish that my wife first bought after the feeder fish um, he has turned gold he was black like his top up there all the way down through with like an iridescent gold uh, underlayment but anyways that's the tanks saltwater tank misery um, waiting to find out the damage of how much I've lost I've already lost a red skirt right there and I might be overdoing that because I already did a video on that but uh, just letting things go right now and trying to get the water cleared up. It's a lot better before. Um, the carbonate water test uh, is saying that the hardness is going down. I'm going to go get a GKH or GK tester to uh, test the actual hardness of the water. Uh, my water that I'm using to mix with has virtually no carbonate hardness but I don't know what its actual hardness is so I will be working on that and doing videos this is now my test kit I originally started out with just the basic API uh, test and uh, it's that one there uh, focus in that eh, won't focus in so anyways it uh, does the high range pH ammonia nitrate nitrite and uh, then I got the phosphate kit and the calcium kit and now the KH kit so I'll be going and getting a GK uh, I do know they sell uh, GKKH test kits but I don't know if I will be going that route, so we'll see. A little bit of money here, a little bit of money there adds up quick. Uh, put a couple hundred bucks into the tank uh, with some A-cans and stuff, and then shortly after that my pH was dropping and my calcium was dropping and I added some pH buffer from API and it spiked my tank hardness up and this is the result is what we're believing my calcium was low my cage was up I'm cloudy uh, I've been doing a moderate wet skin and doing water changes a couple gallons at a time to slowly bring it back down uh, be doing probably another 15 gallons throughout the day it's a 75 gallon system with a sump fish 72 bow front, 10 gallon sump, almost half, a little over half full. So, you know, I figure about 75 gallons total water volume is what I have here. And you're starting to be able to see in. Um, you get down here, you can see some rock, and down in the middle, you can see the sand bed back in there. Uh, 
glass was pretty foggy, but other than that, things are looking pretty good.